This is ChartingWealth.com, and we are talking about candlesticks. That is what you see right here. If you look at our charts, of course, we use FreeStockCharts.com. We have our own layout. If you do not have it, we need to hear from you because we'll send it to you free of charge. That way you don't have to set up your own layout. What you get is whatever comes with free stock charts. You can design your own, but we've already designed a very simple one for you, and it uses candlesticks. Now, ours are a different kind of candlestick, and this lesson is going to be just about candlesticks in general, what you need to know. When you see a green body, it means that there is an upward movement in the price. This would be the opening first thing in the morning. This is where the stock closed or the index, equity, commodity, whatever it is. Now, where did these candlestick patterns even come from? This whole idea. It came hundreds of years ago from Japanese rice traders. Why? Because they wanted a quick and easy way to be able to visually glance at price movements and see just what happened in the market. And I firmly believe candlesticks are the easiest way to do that. So here's where the bid opened. This is where the stock started trading. We'll just say stock that encompasses all those other things, ETFs included. Here's where it closed. Now, what is this, what we call a wick on the top? Well, that represents movement sometime during the day. And this is the high that it reached. Again, you can tell that it was pushed down sometime and closed lower than the wick. Now, what's the bottom? Well, it's just the opposite. On a green candle, it is the low of the day. And somewhere during the day, it got pushed up and again, closed right here. Now, that's the lower shadow, what I call the lower wick. This is the upper shadow, what I call the upper wick. Now, let's look at the opposite. This red candle means a loss. It means that the market for the commodity, the equity, whatever it is, opened here, and it ended up closing here. And sometime during the day, it reached a high here, and it reached a low here. Doesn't tell you when that happened during the day, but, or during, actually, these don't necessarily even represent days. These represent any time period. It could be one minute, five minutes, a week, a month, a quarter, a year. Many times when people are talking about markets, many, many times they talk about this is what happened during the day. But actually, it's any time period. So when you see a red body, it means the opening is higher than the close. When you see a green body, it means the opening is lower than the close. And again, pay attention always to these wicks because they tell you how high the bulls pushed the stock price, the equity price, and how much energy the bears were able to assert to push it down. Now, where were the bears the strongest between these two? Well, of course, the bears, they're the ones who pushed the market or the stock down. They pushed it all the way from the high, all the way down to the low, and at some point it closed lower than it opened. It's the opposite, of course, over here with the green body. It means it opened here and moved to end up closing here. Now, again, the bulls had pushed it even higher. It got pushed down by the bears. And actually, at some point, it was pushed all the way down here, but the bulls were successful in making sure that it closed higher than the low, higher than the open. So, gives you some idea, depending on how long these wicks are, too, as to the strength of the bulls versus the bears to push it up and then to get it pushed back down. These are our basic candles. We'll talk later about candle patterns, and we'll talk about the special kind of candles that we use on our charts that are even more helpful than these, but that's going to come in a later lesson. First, you have to have a good understanding of what a basic candle is before we can get into candle patterns and other types of candles. That's what this lesson has been about. Thanks so much for joining us again. If you aren't already on our mailing list, please let us hear from you. Follow us on Facebook or Twitter, chartingwealth.com. Thank you so much.